was Tuesday 6 and Tuesday 18. And our project is building an EG acquisition system for brain computer interfacing applications. And my name is Aditya. My name is Nitish. I'm Ayush. And we'll be now giving you a demonstration of our project as well as a brief explanation. So brain computer interface is a way to tap into the signals in the brain and record it. Uh, what we aim to do is record these signals, acquire them, do some processing and analyze the variation in these signals when the subject is performing some activity or is exposed to some sort of stimulus. So what we have over here is a 3D printed headgear where electrodes have been slotted in for acquiring the data. Currently we have attached four electrodes, two in the front and two in the back and these electrodes provide the data to our circuit. Over here, we have our ADC, which gets the information from the, the signals from these four channels and pro uh, processes it and sends it to a microcontroller, which communicates to the laptop through UART. The ADC board has all the circuitry on it required to both acquire the signals and communicate it to the microcontroller. The electrodes placed on the headgear are single-ended electrodes and therefore to provide a reference signal for the electrodes, we have attached a ear clip which gives the body potential as a reference signal and this acts as a reference to all four electrode signals. So now we'll be performing an experiment where the subject is exposed to strobe lights that operate at a frequency of 10 Hz. We will then acquire these signals from the electrodes and plot it using a software called EEG Lab which is meant for EEG purposes. So the subject will first blink a few times and then we shall expose him to the strobe lights. We shall now plot the data and show it for the variations. The first two electrodes are connected to the back of the brain where the visuals, visual stimuli is uh, observed. Uh, so we are filtering the raw data to the 10 hertz uh, bandpass filter and then we can observe the stored uh, region and we observe a flat region where the no, no activities is observed. So the design we have implemented is a modular PCB. This PCB houses all the ADC circuitry and is compatible with four channels. The way we have built this PCB is such that you can stack multiple of them together and interconnect them so as to acquire more channels of data. Our original design implemented this on a larger PCB where we have six ADCs, the microcontroller, a Wi-Fi chip and an SD card to store the data. This implements each of these modular PCBs in a smaller area and interconnects them in the way I described earlier.